Hi guys, so Kitty's Winnie here. Today we're going to draw a deer, so let's get started. To draw this cute deer, let's first start by drawing the eye. So I'm going to come right here and start with a circle. And we're just drawing one eye today as the deer is looking towards the side. And so now we have our circle in. The difference uh, today is that we're going to come about, uh, right here towards the bottom and we're going to draw a curve as usual, but we're going to go slightly upwards towards the side. And then the lines at the bottom. So it's as if you rotated the draw so cute eye. And then we're going to come right here and draw a circle and another circle. And then shade this all in. Not too sure if it makes sense, but <laughs> hopefully it does. It's just needed to make it draw so cute eyes. So this is my way of trying to figure it out and hopefully it looks okay to me. So hopefully it does to you too. But if you don't think it does, then definitely just put one highlight and then shade it all in. Okay, there. Now that we have that, let's come back to the sides right here. And we're going to spruce it up with a curve and thicken it up. There. Okay, so now to draw the nose and try to figure out the head, right? That's the hardest part. So what I found that to be a little bit easier is using this eye as your guide. Come to say like the center of the eye. Come out. So maybe towards a little bit lower actually. Maybe let's say about right here. So a little bit below um, the center of your eye. Just come out. And let's say about right here. Just kind of imagining this is the nose area and it's going to come around the eye. So let's say about right here. I'm going to go ahead and draw this little rounded off uh, triangle. So round it off, tiny little nose right there. And I'll just give a little highlight and shade it all in. So I guess it's a little bit kind of like the bottom portion of the eye at that level. Then from there, we're going to come use this um, nose as our guide. We're going to come about right here towards the center of that nose and we're going to go up and we're going to start to go around the eye. Then the bottom part right here, come down. So hopefully that's helping you. We're just starting to create this little nose area. And yes, it is very delicate. <laughs> okay, so then from there, let's bring this up. We're going to go around the eye. So just go around the eye. And let's bring this part down. So definitely turn your body or the paper. And we're going to go down towards the eye. There. Okay, so then now that we have that, let's bring this in a little bit more. Still going around the eye and then say about right here. I'm going to stop and we need to pop in the ear. So let's come right here. We're going to go in and then out and draw these big deer ears. So come out to say about right there. Round off the tip and bring it all back. Then let's come right here and we're going to draw the details of the inside with a curve and the bottom is going to be thinner. There. And it almost worked out. Let's come back about right here over the eye and just draw a soft curve. Then we're just going to imagine this curve is coming through. So about right here, it's going to pop out and we just need to connect it. Okay, so it's just kind of like this big curved teardrop shape that comes all the way to the nose. And if you like, you can come here. If you like it like that, um, you can leave it like that. But I thought it'd be kind of cute if you add a little smile right here. And right by here, and just add a curve and cap it off. There, Maybe a little too thick. I just want it very subtle. I'm gonna come back in here and just. I know I'm being a stickler, but it's such a delicate little deer. I wanted everything to be nice and delicate. <laughs> okay, so there. Hopefully that helps. And then cap it off. 
from there, let's go ahead and draw the other ear. So say about right here in this area, we're going to go ahead and come out. And let's say about right here, kind of the same length. And then we're going to round it off and then bring it down for the other ear. And then we need to draw some antlers. If you like, you can come right by here next to that ear. We're going to come out, draw a little curve. Do another one higher up and bring it in. And then the other one about right here as well. And same thing, you just bring it in there. Okay, so now our deer has antlers. And then we can go ahead and start the body. So let's say about right the center of our eye. Come down to about right here. We draw neck and here. We're going to start the neck and then we're going to bring this down, down and curve out. And this is going to just go all the way down. It's going to continue. There, so step by step. So then from there, let's bring this out. To say about past the head, past the nose, we're going to come out about right there. And we're going to come down for the back and bring it down. So bring this in. There, so back and forth. We're starting to create this kind of ovalish shape for the body. So let's bring this in a little bit more, bring this down. So then about right there is kind of like where this ovalish tummy area is. Then we can go ahead and we're going to start to draw the legs. So I'll bring this in about right there, right underneath the eye once again. I'm going to start by here. We're going to draw the front leg. I'm going to come out. And I'm simplifying everything so it's just kind of nice and straight. So we're going to bring this down. Nice long leg. So say about right there. And then I'm going to thicken it up. Come about right here. And connect. And I'll just come right here and add a hoof. So let's draw this side, this leg. So about right here. And start. And same thing. I'm just going to bring it down. And we'll just bring it down to the same level and other side right here. Oh my goodness, I'm making a mess of my lines. Okay, and connect. And once again, the hoof there and then the back. So let's come about right here. Just imagine this curve is coming through about right here for the tummy. And towards the back, say about right here, we're going to start at an angle. This is going to come in. And we're going to break it in half. So say about right there. And then we're going to curve in towards this same area, but right there. And we're going to come out right here, following that curve. And then bring it in. And once again, the hoof. There. Okay, so then one more, one more back leg. So, say about right here, same thing. Just add a little angle and down. Just follow there, and same thing here. So, just connect everything. There. So hopefully that wasn't too hard. And now that we have that, let's draw in some details. I'm going to bring this up a tiny bit and about right here. It's going to add a little indication of a tummy right there. And then come back to here. We're going to draw a curve to separate the chest area for some color and then bring it down to here. 
And then let's see our tail. Better not forget our cute little deer tail. So about right here, I'm gonna pop this curve out. A little curve and then just bring it in. Nice and full. And uh, that is pretty much it. I'm gonna come down here and just draw, zigzag some grass. So that we know our deer is outdoors. And even, um, of course, draw some dandelions because you know how much I love them. <laughs> there. And last but not least, when you're coloring, there's, uh, I don't want to do it with my Sharpie because it would be too harsh. Just come to the nose area right here. You're just going to draw a curve that goes around the eye and then it comes back right to about here just to separate this little part from the eye face and from the back of the head and then also little spots right here um, on the back and um, just gonna draw a heart right here and make it my draw so cute dear but then also add a bunch of little spots right here when you're coloring but that is pretty much it i really hope i helped you draw deer today fun and easy and if i did please make sure to give me a like and subscribe so you won't miss any new draw so cute videos see you later